Oh, well, I mean, I have no idea. He, the first two guys made great pitches, too, and all of a sudden he you know, just lost the command, which he doesn't walk guys. And when, you know, when he walked uh, uh, Rojas, I mean, that put him in a jam, but then he you know, fell behind Yelich also. So, I mean, you can call it whatever you want. I certainly said he was ready to pitch, so we pitched him. That's, that's, he's done a great job in that role. Was that his inning no matter what, or were you trying to also avoid Blevins based on the three previous nights he's pitched? Yeah, that, and he's pitched like five out of six. Mm -hmm. uh, so we uh, tried, tried to avoid that, but he's, he, he's got lefties out, he's got righties out, just one of those nights. Is it just too early in the year to let DeGrom go even further? <laughs> yes. And that means so early that that's not even a consideration. Well, Mark, they, you know, I don't know how many times we have to t say that right now we have made a commitment to take care of these guys. Make sure we don't overdo it. You know, it's easy to say, it's easy to second guess when a guy, when, when you blow a save, it's easy to second guess that you could have ran Jake out there. We could have ran Jake out there. We have three pitchers that are coming off surgery. Now, if Jake goes out there and he gets in trouble, the immediate thing is, why didn't you take him out? Right? That's the next question. I want to protect these guys. Jake was at basically 100 pitches. He was striking guy. He was pitching great. But that's enough. This guy has done, uh, Fernando Salas has done nothing but put up zeros. So uh, we went with that.